Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1 Fathead Candy Roth. Uh, cold start to the week. We'll get up to about 45 or so. But we got the sun today. Now, that rain you may have heard of tomorrow evening, afternoon into evening, into Wednesday uh, Wednesday morning or so. And then we'll see from there. But uh, got a little bit of an issue with the travel for Thanksgiving, Candy. Yes, especially, <clears throat> excuse me, a little froggy oh in the throat. Especially if you're flying. Definitely, definitely going to want to uh, make sure the flights are on time. Check with your air carrier and see what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. All that uh, good stuff. Uh, this whole morning, we will be thanking all of you who came out uh, to our food fight against hunger yesterday. Yapank at the uh, Supercenter, Walmart. Really uh, great. Yesterday, uh, by the way, had um, uh, Abigail with me. She came. Uh, oh. Yep, it was uh, fantastic. I only saw your big mug on Instagram. I should have that- been looking at <laughs> Abigail. That's correct. I was uh, promoting and uh, videos all over the place, and thank you. Uh, by the way, also, we um, before we left there and went home, uh, there's like this uh, wing cheesesteak place at the front entrance of the Supercenter Walmart in um, Yapang. Yeah, really? Charlie's, it's called. And, uh, yeah, we got some wings and a cheesesteak. I got to say, it was pretty good. Wow. Yeah. I don't think I have one of those in my Walmart superstore. Yeah, no, it was really, really, uh, really good. Uh, and thank you to everyone who came out and donated. Ridgewood Savings Bank, Cricket Wireless. We had a lot of uh, good friends with us yesterday. Um, Candy, I uh, want to know, you've heard of Black Friday, right? Of course. I don't partake, but yes. And, and by the way, side note, uh, even though we're not talking about Black Friday, um, is, is the Black Friday deals are now weeks prior to Thanksgiving and yeah. weeks after Thanksgiving. I, there is no way I'm getting up because I already get up every day to right. go to a mall shopping. It's not happening no. ever. I've no. never done it. Never. But I know people that are possessed with it. And I mean, they look forward to Black Friday all year long. Yeah, no thank you. I'm good. Um, nope, not me. Not doing it. And by the way, I love what it does for the economy and the stores yeah. and everyone's in business. That's Get great. your bargains. It's wonderful. I will yeah. not be amongst it. No way. And, I never have. Never. Pr- pretty much every place has the same Black Friday deals for the next month and... Uh, you could get them online as well, too. So uh, just a note. All right. So you've heard of Black Friday. Now, Brown Friday is the busiest day of the year for plumbers, Candy. Uh-oh. I don't like that. I you know where this is going. Yeah. Oh, you know where this is going. Uh-oh. Reminds uh, me of a Thanksgiving many years ago. Oh, never mind. Just keep going. Uh, would you like to tell a story? Um... Let's just say I was at someone else's house, may have clogged the toilet. Move on. <laughs> it was your fault. Oh, yes. goodness. Yes. All right. So if you're hosting Thanksgiving and you're not fully confident in your plumbing, you may want to get on that. roto Rooter oh. would like to remind America that Black Friday is also Brown Friday. Oh. By far the busiest day of the year for plumbers, and it's not a myth. They get 50% more calls on Black Friday than the average day, Candy. Makes you want to eat less, doesn't it? Yeah, (laughs) it does. A little bit. Um, Really? And by the way, it's not only because the toilets will see more punishment over the weekend and Thursday uh, evening, but they also say... One of the main culprits are the kitchen sinks and garbage disposals. Oh, well, yes. You know, uh, we had just had a little clog in our bathroom sink, and uh, Brian took care of it, and it's fine now. But, yeah, it happens. What a man. I don't know about on on Brown (laughs) Friday, uh, but, yeah. All right, here's a couple of things you uh, definitely want to stay away from. Avoid. Uh, Do not offer flushable wipes to... Your guests? Mm-hmm. Um, the other thing is, you know, watch out for the ply, the the two-ply. You know, the, you may just want to offer one-ply toilet paper. That two-ply could— uh... Don't imply that I offer one-ply because it's not <laughs> going to happen. 
Um, if you have guests sleeping over, you may want to have them wait 10 to 15 minutes between showering. Give the pipes more time to drain out. Can't All right, you? people, line up. Line up with your soap and towel. Line up. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad we're going out. I'm so glad it's so simple and easy. Yeah, you won't have to deal with, uh, with anything. Um, while you're cooking, don't pour fat or cooking oil down the drain. They can solidify inside your pipe. Yeah, that's, that's a given all year round, not just now. And uh, the last one they have on here, don't put starchy things like potato peels in your garbage disposal. They do not break down well. You should toss most of that stuff or compost uh, most of that stuff. You know, I instead. saw the coolest gift, and I don't know the name of it. It was a commercial on TV where you could take all your scraps like that from vegetables and fruit, and you put it in this machine, and when it's full, it makes potting soil for you to use. Okay, I'm glad, you know, that sounds pretty good. I'm glad you went that direction. I thought you were about to tell me it takes all your scraps, mixes it up, and makes a shake for you. And Yay! Um, <laughs> I love nothing more than a garbage shake. No, <laughs> it's really cool. Like, you don't have to throw all of that away. You throw it in, like, this, like, genie master for diapers, but it's not, of course. It's for right. scraps. And it does something and compresses it and makes soil that you can use to fertilize and use for your plants. That's really good. And of course, that's recycling and all that. Yeah, yeah. it looks great. I was going to get it for the kids, but they're not up to that yet. You know what I mean? No, they got enough. Go for, please, your son's trying to raise a little baby just turned Can a year I tell old. you? Well, they need what? to put the baby down. They never put her down. That's why they can't get anything done. They were so happy I was there yesterday because <laughs> they were able to do some stuff they've been putting off. But I told you that they had their basement redone. Wow, mm. they did an incredible job. Whoever the construction people were, excellent job. Beautiful. I was impressed. Yes. Yeah, and if uh, if Casey was smart, he'd say, uh, listen, I will give you some solid financial advice if you give me a discount on the basement. Oh, don't you worry with his little network going on. He's a, he's a very loyal, wonderful human being with a huge heart. So, yeah, he uh, does a lot of pay it forward. That is uh, very good. Uh, Candy, we have plenty to do. Your next Bald and the Beautiful Entertainment comes up about 8, 12, less than 20 minutes. Got your uh, good news stories, your national days. We're looking at some uh, cold temps this morning, high of about 45. We are expecting Tuesday afternoon, evening into Wednesday, first part of the day, some heavy, heavy rain on the way. It will impact some travel uh, definitely Thanksgiving Eve. Uh, so uh, be careful with the driving. And if you have, uh, you know, a airplane uh, trips coming up, anything like that, let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.